that up there. There's Presley and Alicia on the fun slide. Presley getting ready. He's getting ready. That's like the greatest name ever created. Fun slide? Super yeah. original? Alright, I think they're almost gonna go. Here they come. Maybe. They're ready. Oh, farthest. Presley's going first. Oh, but still came in last. How did that work? We're gonna get our Mario Kart on. Alicia and Presley are right in front of me. Nathan's up there. There's the track. Let's do this. All right, guys, here goes. I got a bunch more new tiki stuff. You can see there's a new mask up there. The dishwasher is running, so sorry for that noise. But look, there's a new tiki guy over there. And oh, someone else, I'll save him for a little bit later. I didn't get that. But on Saturday, we went to a garage sale out in like Summerlin. I saw it on Craigslist. They said they were gonna have tiki stuff. There's more spoilers behind me. No. Oh. But uh, we went and I picked up a couple things. So I got this giant mask looking thing. Look at this, it's crazy big kind of blocking all the detail there but it is a really cool looking mask thing I got another mask up there he's a new addition I'm just not gonna stay that way it's just how it is right now and then I also got an ore there he is he's like a, I don't love the tiki ore but I got such a good deal on the three pieces that I had to get all three pieces and on top of that I also picked up some other stuff that's out here in the garage it's dark how about we hit the lights boom oh, that got really bright into the garage into the garage what else did i get oh i got some fake flowers it was a pretty i spent like 50 bucks at the garage sale and i got the large wall tiki the tiki mask the ore this thing of plants and this big old bucket of plants now fake plants are expensive so good deal uh, also a picture frame and I finally found more bamboo so I can finish up the kitchen. I just gotta split this bamboo so I can put it up on the edges of the kitchen. Not here in the garage, but in the kitchen. So, a lot of new tiki stuff. Sorry, it got dark. But the one thing that you probably saw a second ago is some really, really, really cool tiki stuff. Look, 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 here it goes. Oh, there's it. This is the big one. This is the biggest, most awesome piece of them all. It is a giant, I mean, this is a giant. This is my fist, that's my fist, and that is how big the Jabba mug is. It is like three of my fists big. That is a lot of tiki drink that can go in there. And it also came with a salacious bee crumb, little mini glass, I don't know what you would put in there. Maybe something real small and real strong. But this is, and. There were straws in here because it's, it had a drink. We, I didn't drink at all, but we did make a large drink earlier. But look, these are the Series 2 Geeky Tiki's Star Wars Tiki mugs from uh, Star Wars Celebration. They, re they released them at Celebration. I think they were for sale there this year, but they're also sold through Think Geek. So first off, take a look. Here is C-3PO. Pretty good looking sculpt. I like the artwork on the boxes, of course. Shows you all the different ones, but I have them all. I have the whole series right here. So there's C-3PO. Here is the Tusken Raider. He looks really good. I like it. I mean, this is like, this is seriously the perfect, it's like they made these just for me. They, it's Star Wars and Tiki. Like, it's like somebody said, what do we make that would make Dano just the happiest person on earth? Star Wars Tiki mugs. Give that guy a raise. So we also have Wicket, and he's on like a little stump because he's short. But notice the packaging on these. The actual box is a little bit shorter than the other one, so interesting. Next up, we have a Town Town. I know it's called Tauntaun, but I like to call it Town Town. Look at his little face. Again, I love the artwork on those things, but he looks good. All the little lines from the carving is all blocky. Got that nice blue tint to him, and he is taller. Uh, next up, we have a Jawa, a little short Jawa, and he's on like a little rock, so he's cool. I'm gonna put a nice martini inside there. That'll be good, right? Oh look, he even has his little gun. That's cool. All right, now I heard that the black part was painted, but it feels like glaze. It doesn't feel painted. 
and the eyes feel like just the same glaze too. I don't see anywhere on the box that says it's not dishwasher safe. I assume they all are, but I heard that this one it was gonna have like paint that might not be dishwasher safe. So maybe I'll just be extra careful with that one. Uh, last one to take a look at is gonna be the Wampa. I feel like I said Wampa earlier, but it wasn't the Wampa. But there he is, cool little artwork. I love it. He looks really good. He only has one hand. Where's his other hand? Oh my God, his other hand got chopped off. That is perfect. That is his Wampa post getting his arm chopped off by Luke. That just got even cooler. But there they are. There's all series two of all the, oh, you gotta, you gotta put Java in there. And you gotta put a little salacious crumb in there. And they look, they're awesome. So I gotta unbox them. But before I do, I gotta find room because this is my tiki shelf area right now. And it is very full. You can see, I actually have two R2-D2s. There's one there. There's another R2 back over there. But here's all the series one. I've got Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, Darth Vader. That's from Frankie's Tiki Room. But I've got uh, Yoda down here. I think there's a Chewbacca back there's a Chewbacca. So I've got more tiki mugs than I know what to do with. Now that yard sale isn't the only thing I did on Saturday. We also went to a very, very interesting house. Uh, that group that I'm a part of, the toy collecting group called Rogue Squadron. I think I have a sticker in here actually. There's a, there's a sticker right there, Rogue Squadron. That collecting group, one of the members, uh, he's a gentleman who has a huge, huge collection. He has a house out here in Las Vegas, like for his collection. There's like, the whole house is filled with his awesome, awesome collection of Halloween stuff, Star Wars. It was pretty dang amazing. Check it out. Good stuff. Battlestar Galactica. A wall of Black Series figures. Oh, geez, there's that. BB-8 cereal. Sherry, do you see that? He's nine locks. He had a watch. Okay. Oh, 12-inch. Is that Legendary Yoda? different pod racers. These are so cool. More just random micros in there. What else? Batmobiles? That's pretty cool. What are these? It's monsters? It's like Jason and the Argonauts. Oh, it is. It really seems it's kind of dark, but... This is someone's garage. Oh this is a garage we're about to go into. Oh, <laughs> the Lost Souls Tavern. Is it a bar? Oh my goodness, is this a bar? For Marvin the Martian Room? <gasps> oh, what just happened? Oh what the heck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. What is going on? So I collect Halloween shit. Go figure. No way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think we can tell that though. Holy. Oh my goodness. So I have a free car garage. Oh, I got one. So what the hell are you going to do with your system? <laughs> 
That is wow. amazing. So, so you don't care to do that? No, I do. I love that's the Hawthorne Village. That's 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 where all the Hawthorne stuff is. That would be really good for Halloween. Take a look at these. They weren't micro machines, but they're from Revenge of the Sith. And there's three different ones. The Mustafar dual set. And it came with like goo, so you could like reenact the whole volcano. Because they open up and there's scenes. Uh, we've got Kashyyyk Assault Battle Set. That's pretty cool. And then Sith Attack Battle Set. And this one didn't come with goo. Neither did this one. That one's got lava goo. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh yeah, there's a goo. nice shot of a little battle action there. There's the inside of what that one looks like. And then this one launches a vulture droid. Terminator, Starship Troopers. There's just too much going on here. There's way too much going on. I can't keep up. Robocop. Every time I turn the corner, there's like another series of awesome toys. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh wow. Like, this is next. Every Stargate figure. Wow. I like little, the little mummies. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. This is artwork. Models. And this is a bedroom. There's a bed right there. The Pirates Cove has its own Pirates Cove. There's like a mask popping up back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nuts. And this is this is the whole room. This is a bedroom. Didn't I tell you that house was nuts? It was really really cool. Like well, that that house was goals. That, that actually that house isn't too far off. Eventually this house is probably gonna end up looking something like that. But it was really really cool to like just the fact that he like let us into his home to see all that cool stuff. Halloween garage, Halloween like dining room area, Star Wars everywhere, Metropolis, <sighs> such cool stuff. It's really cool to like know people like that. So that's why the little groups and like little parts of your community like that are a good thing. And if there are groups in your area, join them. Meet new people. It's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. I, I, I had a good time. Uh, I brought Alicia along. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so I was just about to end the vlog. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. There's something missing here. I need to do the question of the day. And then I read the question. And I was like, this is why I stopped doing question of the day. These questions are kind of stupid. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but they are. So the one for Tuesday... Today, hopefully, if I get around to editing this for you guys when it comes out, it should be Tuesday. Are your parents constantly telling you to get off the phone? What year was this calendar made? I feel like it's a very 90s question. Um, yes, all the time. No. Or I'm an adult. I mean, I guess people are like on their phones, like on their phones, like Facebook or messaging or something, but not like on the phone talking to somebody. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? I feel like this this sounds more like a a 90s question back when we had to like share one phone line 
And like, if you wanted to use the internet, you'd have to like kick everybody off the phone or if someone picked up the phone, it would kick you off the internet. Those were the dark times. That was before phones had internet and internet was just like everywhere. So I, I feel like that's a really, really old school question. So my answer is I'm an adult and I don't even talk on the phone. The only time I talk on the phone to people is when I'm at work and I have to. Otherwise, I don't, I mean, I talk to my mom every once in a while, probably not as much as I should. And that's it. Like, I really don't, I hate talking on the phone. I don't talk on the phone to anybody at all. It's just, it's not me. I don't know. How about you? Do you guys talk on the phone? Hmm? Do ya? Well, guys, that's it for now. Look, I got some new toys back there. There's some rare micro machines. But I'm going to let that wrap it up. So be sure to make sure you're subscribed to the Dano channel which I'm pretty sure if you're here, you're already subscribed to the Nano channel, because why would you be here first and not over there? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But and for some weird reason you stumble onto this video, go to my main channel. It's called the Dano channel. I'd love to have you over there. And I'm not doing the force have with you thing, so we, we got to come up with something. Guys, I need a tagline. I need to sign off. I need your suggestions here for how I should end these videos. There's got to be some kind of saying something and I want it to be contributed by you guys because you're great. And I feel like if you're a part of this, it's just, it's better for me. It just, I feel, it feels better for me to know that you're a part of this. You like the hat, by the way, I'm this first time I'm really like seeing it, not me. I love the orange and the purple. I, I love the colors. Uh, but either way, guys, that's it. I'm done. Goodbye. I love you all. Let me know down below what you think a good sign-off should be because I, I'm, I'll try them out. I'll probably do like all the subsequent videos. I'll try a different one and see. I might even put like at the end like who said it, like who suggested it. I like that idea. I'll, that's like a little nice way to shout you guys out. Be like, this is how I'm going to end the video thanks to so-and-so. I think that's a really cool idea for now. So leave me your suggestions and I'll probably pick one of them for the next video. Love you guys. See you later.